in the second edition of our app script tutorials we want to do date validation let's quickly create a new google form and let's title it date validation let's assume that you're organizing an event and you want people to select specific dates to attend your event so you take their name your name and the next question let's say select your date let's assume it's a date and let's preview our form you realize that when a person is choosing a date you really have no constraint the person can decide to even go and select 2017 so that is what we want to avoid what we want to do is if for instance we want people to select dates between 1st March and maybe 20th March how do we go by go about it we can use a script so we are going to make this multiple choice select your date and then we'll go into our script editor let me cancel this I already have the app script code written and tested out. Okay, got it. I didn't even read what that is. Let me clear out what we have here. And then this is my code. Control C. I've already tested it out. Control V. So what what this will help us is that it will help us to um, specify the particular dates that we want people to select from but there's something else we want to do we want to create an html file let's call it dates.html i want to create a sidebar i will also have that code written out the, all the code will be in the url in the description so you can just go and copy it Control v and so this is sidebar dot okay i named it let me just rename okay it doesn't matter so let's go into the this part of the code the name of this is actually dates this is actually picking the html so let me call it dates now let me save the script all right i've created a sidebar we want the sidebar to appear on our form so that we populate our date and then when we share the link to our form our respondents can select particular dates so i will go over here and run we, we, we don't have to set a trigger for this one i will run the open sidebar it's asking me for because the first time i'm running it on this account let me select my email you always have to select your email because you have to give approval because the scripts that you've written yourself so you don't have to be scared of it you go to advanced go to untitled and then allow okay so now when we come to our form you see a sidebar opened what we want to do is which what is the start day of your event let's assume that uh, our event will start today is 13th actually our event will start on 19th of february 2024 and maybe our event will end on somewhere in march let's say it will end um first week of it'll end on the friday first no not first let's say it will, it will take one month so it will end on 19th march and then we have this populate date you check press populate dates okay so now our dates have been populated with the actual months that we want our respondents to select so when we preview our form the respondents can select their name maybe this one is alberta 
and our better one to come to our event you realize that we did we included um the the actual name of the days like saturday sunday monday so that if you are not running your event on a weekend the person would know that they should not select a weekend so they if this person wants to come on 28th of february then they select 28th of february and then they submit their form when they submit it i've not really linked it to any sheet but that is something you can do and i also have a previous video on how to get form responses into your inbox so you can also implement that and get it in your inbox i don't really want to go through that because i think that for the code the only this code is quite simple and you can implement it anyhow you don't really have to change anything the only thing you have to change is that you see that we have multiple choice question in the populate date function uh, multiple choice is that it's, it's the first multiple choice so we say index zero supposing we had a multiple choice question preceding our date question this will actually have been one into the script is as simple you can pick the code in the url in the description please don't forget to subscribe and look forward to the next video